So the defending champions, and now the world champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, lead out in the mixed doubles semi-finalists. The Japanese pair, Shintaro Ikeda and Oreko Shiota. Japanese combination. And their match last night that got them through to the semi-final stage. And they lost their first two matches in the group and then last night they beat Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee Fongtongkam in two straight games. Of course, the winners of the Group B were the Danes, Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Peterson. But then the other three pairs all won one match and lost two matches. So it all came down to game difference. The best ratio was this Japanese pair. So as far as the world champions are concerned, won all of their matches in their group, but twice not pushed the full distance against their teammates Yu Chen and Margin in the first of their matches and again yesterday against Tantoi. Ahmad and Liliana Natsia of Indonesia. So the defending champions against the Japanese pair, Ikeda and Shiota. Raiko Shiota, 28 years of age. Number 12 in the world rankings but number eight in the Super Series rankings, having competed in all 12 Super Series tournaments. So her partner, Shintaro Ikeda, 30 years of age, although will be 31 at the end of this month. Japanese players obviously very happy that a Japanese mixed doubles pair in the semi-final stage never won a title the Japanese pair compare that to Zhang Nan and Jiao Yunlei Zhang Nan 21 years of age from Beijing his partner Zhao Yunlei 25 and they have 10 career titles together, including, of course, that world title earlier this year and the Super Series finals for 2010. 50 and 8, very impressive win loss record for the year. And that translates into seven titles. Just one previous Five. meeting. Get ready. That was last year in the quarter-final of the Bitburger Open. Grand Prix event that. Close second game. I think in all honesty, both pairs have improved since their last encounter. The Japanese players, of course, both of them have bronze a bronze medal from World Championships, but not in the mixed doubles. Ikeda won his bronze in 2007 with Sakamoto and Shiota won her bronze medal that same year with Kumiko Ogara. Well, as with yesterday, very heavy strapping on that right leg. Looks to be mainly protecting the knee. And there may be another problem as well because a lot of bandaging on Pa Nguyen. Service judge Klaus Schieben. Okay. 
Well, Ian, from the form that we've seen from these two pairs this week with the Chinese pair undefeated, won all three of their group matches. And as far as the Japanese pair are concerned, lost two of their three group matches. One would have to reckon on the Chinese being the favourites for this. Yes, I think the Japanese have got a real tactical problem here as well. As we can see, they like to play from from a defensive position. They like to counter-attack, as they've done successfully there. But I think that will be very difficult to do against this Chinese pair. Their attack's very well organised. Zhang Yunlei is very sharp and very quick around the front court. Zhang Nan provides a lot of fireworks from the rear court. I think the Japanese are going to have to be a little bit aggressive, more aggressive than they normally are if they're going to get into this game. That's not going to help them. No. I think he was the service judge when they played yesterday evening, wasn't he? And he called the first serve at Decatur fault, as he has yeah. done this evening. penetration from Ikeda from the rear court He's not able to get his partner in the front court shuttle driven easily through Shota and then able to step up the court take it early knowing there's no real threat in terms of power yeah, more power from Shota in fact we saw that a lot yesterday Shota going into the rear court hitting good angles Sure, that'll be enough today. Mm, the error there from Shiloh. Early stages. Five two. Oh, good defence. Yeah, very good rally. Yeah, and there again, another demonstration. Japanese having lots of chances in attack, but no real penetration. Not able to get through the defence with the Chinese pair. Shotter would be following the play across the court, turned it back across it, made a change direction. Well, he changed his mind there. Yeah. Ikeda was way out of court, way off balance after the flick serve. Should have made more of that, Zhang Nan. Yeah, struggling a little bit with his serve. First one was called fault, and he's not really found a rhythm on it since then.
better. Clip down to the centre and then change in the direction, winning the point. Down the line. Doubles from the world champions involved in the net player. And she is very good at the front of the court. Is Xiao Yun Lei. Superb. Well, just proving that they can play in either formation. Yeah, Zhang Yun Lei this time using centre attack. Zhang Yun committing himself to the front court. Okay, does that a shave overnight? Looks very smart today. A seven point advantage to the defending champions at the mid game interval. It's a great serve. Okay, they're desperate to change the direction there, just snatching at the shuttle a little bit, taking his eye off it. Naomi Manaki. Very animated in his team talk there. As always, very enthusiastic coach. That's a good return, better return. More commitment there, took the shuttle earlier, managed to get it going down. Posed a problem for Zhao Yun Lake, happy to take it below net height. Again, not a great serve. It, but shot a desperate to try and get in the game in the front court. And take some risk, trying to anticipate, but the partner just not able to create enough pressure from the rear court to get her in there. Oh. Yeah, would have gone out, but couldn't get out of the way of the shuttle. nice. Yeah, just hasn't quite got the power to take advantage of it in the rear court though. That's good. That's good. Again, it's Shiotta who's more effective in the rear court at the moment. She's finding better angles, following in, reading the plate. Yeah, just 
too much pace on it. Yeah, she needs to get the first one going down, so the shuttle comes up, gives us more time, but this one's too flat. Comes back even quicker, hasn't got time to react. Yeah, and that time she did manage to hit it down, and also it took another couple of attacking shots to finish off the rally. Did gain much more advantage. Wild returns there. Two direct mistakes off service. Channeled attack from Ikeda from the rear court. Shiotta stepping off, anticipating the drive. Defense, good interception. Four straight points. Oh, it wasn't far away, was it? My goodness. Just out. And again, he carried a lovely cross block to take the attack, but when he attacks, there's no real penetration. And again, an error on return of serve. So Yun Lei just lost a little bit of concentration on return at the moment. Advantage, and there's only two points in it. Oh, but that's good pressure. Yeah, isolated Shotter in defense there. Kept the shuttle coming at her. It's just well to get the first two back, but under too much pressure and on the retreat for the third. Deep angle, virtually no pace on the shot. Very difficult for Zhang Nan. He's used to feeding off power. Channel attack from Zhang Nan this time. It's how you lay into the game. Here we see it. Smash onto the body. Shuttle coming up for his partner. Good mixed. Oh, the 
luck of the net cord with Shiota. Yeah, but she's been playing well from the rear court. She gets good angles, doesn't she? She brings this nicely down. A little bit lucky with the net cord. But good idea. Mm, flip serve is long. That's a poor serve at that point. That was a big point. Yeah. Particularly when Zhao Young Lei's made a couple of mistakes on short service return. Maybe not the best choice to flick up. play from the defending champions and now for it game points Extraordinary return of serve. When your game point down, you try almost that trickery. Well, it worked for him. And then he takes the net position and shots us in the rear court, and they win the point. They're an unpredictable pair. game to Chang Nan and Chao Gun Lei. 21 17. Seventeen minutes of play. Use the angles, use the sides. Nice little pushes, I think, to force the lift. And then the channel attack, and of course, Zhao Yun Lei can then get heavily involved at the front of the court. champions from China appeared to be s cruising when 15-7 up in that opening game and then Japanese pair really seemed to up their game and in all honesty I think the Chinese combination just took their foot off the pedal a little bit. Yeah made a few mistakes on return of serve just lost concentration a little bit. Sure. Zhang Jun pointed that out to them in the interval there. Ask for a bit more concentration, a bit more intensity in the second game. Yeah. Again, the Japanese content to give the lift away. I can't see how they're going to win this match from defense. They need to get in and create some attacking opportunities, mix it up a little bit more. Good. Quick to follow the block in. Nice kill. You see it. Good block. Quick to follow in. A little bit reverse slice. Straight kill. Nice skills. Yeah, 
I'm not sure you want to be giving pace to Zhao Yunlei when she's in that net position. But take the shuttle away from it, move her across the court, I think, rather than trying to go through it. The reactions are very, very good on the front court. Stepped up, took it early, whipped it into the back corner. You can see it here, look at her moving forward, rack it up, bang. Great shot, good awareness. Tempted into that cross drive. Now you lay lining up for it, ready again. Same result. Drift again, left to right drift. Good angle, much better attack there. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Made sure he got it coming down steeper. Much better result. Kada not happy with the shuttle. to serve, forcing the upward return. Four, seven, yes. nice and ready on the forecourt to take advantage. Good mixed doubles. That's a clever super, smash. Super angle. Seven, yeah, really clever. Saw that Chioto was waiting, committed to a forehand defence. Found an angle to get it down her backhand side. Look at that. Super. Intensity throughout that rally. In the end, body smash, partner stepping off for the interception. Good teamwork. Great 
Good serve as well. Very much in control. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Oh, tough to see a way back for the Japanese from here. Really got the penetration on attack. And the Chinese attacking. Oh, contrast. It's looking really efficient now. They're on a roll. And they're reading the game so much better as well, aren't they? Yes, particularly Zhao Yunlei now. He's picking everything off at the net, stepping off with confidence, intercepting a lot more shuttles than in the first game. That's good for Mikada, though. Nice change of direction. That takes Zhao Yunlei off the net, creates a bit of space. Then his own partner can move forward and look to take the net. Zhao Yunlei's defense is much weaker than uh, Zhang Nan, a partner. So that's a really risky tactic to a, a top attack fast cross court against it. Opens up your own court. There's some contrast shield to his defense. Doesn't seem quite as solid as. No, it's coming for a severe test in this match, yeah. that's for sure. Six, yeah. His Seven, serve to me still looks 14. quite high. Yep. Surprised at Zhao Yunlei making mistakes on return of serve. Uncharacteristic. Another example of how well she defends. Not only does she defend well, she gets in quickly behind it and takes the play away. Serve was just too good. He wanted to try and get it, try and get in, take it early, but it was too good. Yeah, she's desperate to get involved and try and make a difference from the front of the court, but she's not used to that pace. And no, she played very, very well in the match yesterday against the Thai pair. But today, her confidence has gradually ebbed away during this match. Oh, that's good judgment. Let's drop long. One-way traffic now. And it's all in favour of the defending champions. Interception, nice change of pace. Seven. And she's 
just missed one. First one, I think, in this game. He's been stepping off and reading that so well in this second game. Oh, confusion. Goodness me. Well, got away with it in the end, my goodness. Oh, completely in each other's way. Clash of rackets. Yeah, but both of them still able to smile about it, even in the middle of the rally. serve and now after 31 minutes we're at match points to concentration a little. <laughs> this time two straight games and the number one seeds Dan Nam and Zhao Yunlei safely through to the final still on course to defend their title umpire confirms the score and of course Zhao Yunlei she'll be back in action in this evening's session because she's in the women's doubles as well that will be fourth match on this evening so she'll be off to try and get as much rest as possible but a straightforward win for her and her partner Zhang Nan 21 17 21 11 in 33 minutes That concludes the afternoon session on semi-finals day. And that is how it's all panned out. Wang Yi Han started us off with victory over her teammate in two straight games. And then uh, the defending champion, three-time defending champion, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, going down in three tough games to Chen Long of China. Then women's doubles and Ha and Kim from Korea beating the Danish combination who had topped their group then it was men's doubles and Bo and Mogensen who won the title last year they have confirmed their place in their third consecutive final at the Super Series finals with victory over Colt and Yu and then as we've just seen in the mixed doubles the world champions and defending Super Series Finals uh, champions Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Two straight games over the surprise semi finalists Ikeda and Shiota. So, of course, we will have the second session of semi finals in just over two hours' time. So, I hope you'll be able to join us for that. But in the meantime, from all of us here, Ian Wright and myself, Joel Clark, hope to see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>